Hello and welcome to another SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Double Review. This is Cyclone Trigger and Cyclone Metal Double Pack. SH Figure Arts new standard figure series that incorporates a band action figure art under the theme Pursuing Catch Expression Program like Action. And after getting this one, I only need um, Fang Joker, um, Heat Metal, and the. Um, she, uh, I need all the Heat figures. I have no Heat figures. And the Cyclone Axel Extreme figure, and uh, I would have, uh, well, I guess you can count the Red Flare Eternal, but I'm not going to get that. Uh, pretty much have uh, all the uh, double axis figure arts. Although there's also that other accessory for his bikes. I think I, well, I got two of them. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, this brings me closer to, you know, completing the uh, double line. I am pretty much I completed the O's line and the Kuka line is almost done. Hmm. Um, yeah. So, uh, standard double style box with the uh, photos of the actual suit in black and white silhouette. Because you got the uh, blue and silver going on, which is cool. Because um, you got the green box that's the cyclone side and the two different colors he's got in here. And the bottom. This was a brand new, but you know, the box is a bit worn because it's it was released quite a while ago in terms of toys anyway. This one was. Um, was back in double came out, so it was a few years. 2009. Oh my god, such a long time ago. Uh, but yeah, it is still inside, it's still brand new. And of course, just like all SSH got stuff, that you know, they have tape there, and for the boxes, older boxes, the tape does glue onto this quite a bit, which is kind of annoying. So uh, you're gonna have to cut it off, you will get like little scratch marks, like I did. So you open it up because uh, all the stuff you guys have a little baggie here that has a bit of tape. Open the tape up and you have the instructions menu inside. And of course, if you want to take a close look at the box art and uh, photo shoot of the figure and the instruction manuals, by all means, feel free to head over to the Facebook or flick a link in the description below. Box out the way, me thinks. Uh, of course, two trays because there's a lot of stuff going on here, so uh, one by one. Uh, first tray, you have two figures, so open this up. Quite easy to open up, flip this out, and um, so yeah, there we go. <clears throat> uh, quick look at the figures, I think. Yeah, let's do articulation first this time. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do, gonna do articulation on one of these figures, I'm gonna do it on him because this is such a nice combo. I am surprised it took me so long to get this one. I guess I was just searching for it to be cheap, really. So if you've seen any of my double reviews or anyone else's double reviews, you know exactly what articulation is. But let's go through this one quickly. So a uh, double neck joint, so <laughs> double double neck joint. Uh, head goes up, head goes down, head goes sideways, head goes sideways. Oh, that was kind of sharp. And full rotation. And um, mm, mm. shoulder pads on the little peg joint. Uh, arm in a little ball inside the torso. Goes up, down, up, got full rotation, and full rotation here. Double elbow joint. I have fists, hands are on little ball peg, so, and the ball peg's on little swivel arm. Ooh. Ah, my shoulder! Ah. <laughs> uh, torso joint, joint, double joint, double double joint. Uh, and it rotates only up to a certain point. That's how much, really. Uh, hmm. I just noticed some of the paint out. That's okay. Bit of extra bit of silver there. Uh, belts do come off, showing off some green plastic underneath. And the belt is the uh, same piece of plastic as the hip piece, which is a big solid chunk. And this comes off as well. It's, uh, it's not ball peg, so it doesn't spin or anything. Uh, leg goes down. You can see this little arm with two balls inside, goes up, down, rotates a little bit, black joints inside, which is annoying, just like all these black joints. Uh, knee double joint. Toe is die cast, because this is back then when they were. Up, back, sideways, sideways. Toe goes, doesn't go up. Oh, toe goes down, toe goes up, really stiff. And this what it looks like underneath. 
Phew. I really like this coloring. This is this is great coloring. Um, I don't know, green and blue just look so nice together. And uh, this guy's this belt comes off as well. Hmm. Good. Green and silver is nice too. I don't know. Th I mean, the the cyclone green on these figures is really nice. So all the green figures look really good. Uh, although Cyclone Joker, wow, it's good. Uh, probably because I've seen it so much, it's not as interesting anymore. Because you know, because uh, not that I'm bored of it, because but you know, I've seen it so many times, and so has everyone else. So it's just nice to see different colors. So you got the bottom tray as well. So uh, just be careful with this. Lots of small parts in here, and one extremely small part in here. Okay, be careful. Right there we go. Focus. There we go. So the one that stands out the most is this huge scarf. Now the thing with all these uh, double double packs, uh, they always come with extra like bonuses. Um, for example, like instead of just the accessories that come with that figure, for example, Second Joker only had extra hands and two different shaped scarves, or both small ones, and um, Luna Trigger, I think. I had Luna Trigger? Yeah. Luna Trigger only had, you know, the guns and stuff. Heat Metal only has the metal shaft. Uh, but, you know, the, the Luna Metal, uh, that had an excuse because they had these big, big sort of, like, bendy arms that filled up the package. But since this one doesn't fill up the package, they filled up with all this other stuff. And the Heat Double Pack, I'm pretty sh uh, also pretty sure that it comes with a lot of extra goodies as well. And so apart from the weapons here, um, you have this giant scarf here. Uh, which is like an extra, it's considered a special effect in my opinion, like it's a special effects pack, pack. that's a nice bonus. And I got these two scars which is identical to one of this, they're both identical and I and identical to the Cyclone Joker one, one of them. Uh, the metal shaft in uh, sort of pull away mode and extended mode, uh, which is good, <laughs> funny actually, I um, think the other staff was bendy in the Luna double pack. Uh, you got the uh, trigger magnum again in, clo in open and closed mode. However, there is a slight difference here. Uh, the one here, that's um, this one in closed mode, has an extra peg for you to peg uh, these uh, gadgets in. And yes, you have the gadgets. You got the uh, Beto phone, the camera bat, which has a, a different face. Like the bat is looking forward. You can make him look up with this extra piece here. And you have the little. Um, I think it's like a little spider watch thing. You also have, apart from the fist hands already on the figures, you have the uh, pointy hands and the gun holding hand and item holding hands here and also the pointy hands. So you can do all different poses and that's excellent. Um, and of course, if you have, if you buy all the double figures, you have lots of spare hands. So uh, it, makes it makes it less worrisome to uh, you lose any of them. Because uh, we're gonna have to take a look, close look, uh, detailed look at the uh, accessories. Now, of course, I think there's a bit of a missed opportunity here. Is uh, of course the metal shaft does not have any pegs on them, so you can't attach any of these uh, gadgets to it. Even though in the DX toys and stuff, that's something that you can do. Um, and since you know, if you get the heat metal, you have these shafts anyway. It'd be nice that if this version. I had pegs on these as well, just to allow you to do that. And then uh, there's only a peg on the closed form of this gun. You can't do it on this one, which again, I don't see why not. Um, it just, just makes sense to have that there as a thing. So I just got my older camera out here because um, I don't have a macro lens for my Canon 5D. And uh, come on, focus. There you go. You can see here the uh, molding detail is pretty excellent uh, on the watch, but um, Paint isn't too special. Uh, these days it would be, I guess, a sticker in there or something, but it's just black, which is still good because, you know, if there's a certain number in there, you're stuck with that number, whereas here it could be any number, your know, imagination and stuff. The bat's the same, uh, pretty good detail. All of these are soft, soft, rubbery plastic, and um, it's not, not much um, detail. There's, uh, there's still more detail inside, but pretty much no paint detail on all of these. Uh, paint detail is quite limited, but just enough to make them look good. See, it has a little hole there that will peg into the guns. And um, what you do is with the head is you pretty much just you just slide it out and slide it in. Um, yeah, piece of watch again, very very detailed. Uh, Would have been nice if um, you could have uh, these accessories in their sort of uh, default mode. Like if I can actually use this as a watch, this in camera mode. 
and this in phone mode that would be great um, it's pretty much like fires in all his his phones and all the different forms that it has um, so that would be really good and also you have the uh, magnum here lots of times and all the detail you see the Kamerider Cyclone double pack is uh, pretty good first let's talk about the base body if you have any other double figure, if you've seen reviews of any double figure, you know exactly what to expect here. Uh, this figure is still new, so all the joints are still really tight. Um, the gripes are no mini guy memories, no close double driver, and uh, no guy memory in the maximum drive slot. Those are all annoyances for me. Uh, all the joints are black plastic, which uh, really cuts up the flow of the suit, and that's really annoying. Thank God they fixed that with the limited edition um, Tamashi Work exclusive uh, Cyclone figure. But uh, yeah. And of course, yeah, the double driver, even though they've painted the glowing area, they haven't actually painted the guy maze, it's just a little black plastic set extrude out again, that's really annoying. Uh, other gripes in, uh, include the really hard to swap hands. Uh, once you pull a hand off and put the other hand in, it's really hard to peg on and it's actually, um, you know, you're holding the figure, you don't want to break it and you're putting a lot of force to plug the hands on and it's, it's just really annoying. Because uh, the gun the trigger magnum is not articulated, so it has two pieces, which thank god you know you got two pieces due to different, different modes. But it would have been nice if it had some sort of mechanism to let you spin it and such. And of course, my other gripe with uh, the you know gun in opened mode not having a little extra peg, or the metal shafts not having extra pegs as well. That's, that's kind of a downer right there. And of course, with the horns feeling uh, quite uh, hard and easy to snap, you've got to be extra careful. And that makes the swapping hands even more annoying when you have to be extra careful because there's a fragile horns on this figure. And, uh, you know, the horns, uh, the molding injection on some of these, especially on the horn, there's quite a few pegs here and there. So do be careful there. And of course with the uh, trigger side, there's no way to attach the gun to his chest like he does in the show. So you have to use some blue tack or something and that's just really annoying. Uh, and of course uh, the hip area, again, cuts up the flow of the suit pretty badly. But uh, that's how this uh, these figures were designed. So oh, well, uh, I wonder if this released this these days, would they use the newer joint with the ball, like more of a cougar-like joint? That probably would make more sense with double. Oh well. Um, but yeah, with all those gripes apart, those are standard double gripes. <sighs> those are all the standard double SSG guard gripes. But um, Still, the figure looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, with these forms as well, I really like Cyclone Trigger and how the metallic blue and green shine off each other. And Cyclone Metal looks pretty nice as well. Overall, it's just Cyclone just complements these two colors really nicely, more than all the other all the other forms. Uh, Diecast feet, of course, is really nice every time I get a hold on them. Of course, they do look a bit like you know they don't they got they got these connectors and joints on the metal diecast feet, which um, Actually, quite well hidden with these colors, um, but overall, you know, the plastic feet do hide the joints a lot better. But here, uh, it's just really nice to feel the diecast feet. It makes the figure feel like it has more value because it's a lot easier to pose. Accessory wise, this figure, this package does feel really jam packed, and uh, buying these two figures is cheaper than the individual figures because they're only 200 each, and that's a low price for SH Figuts. And for 200 each, you get all these accessories with two really gorgeous looking figures, uh, despite those gripes. Uh, I think that's a really good deal, and um, the paint detail overall is really good. It's a few sort of like silver bits just slightly out of line and one of the Trigger Magnum's handles has a bit of extra metallic blue just sort of, sort of dripped on it I guess but um, you don't see it too much and it's something that can be easily fixed. Um, all in all this is a pretty solid pack out of all the double packs so far I like this one the most because uh, the heat double pack with heat trigger would look really good as well with that crimson red and sort of shiny navy blue, like not navy blue, like just really shiny light blue, that would look really good as well, but here, I think this is a definitely good pack, I'm glad it came with all those little gadget, uh, memory gadgets, uh, those, that's really nice touch to have those in here. So sort of like the O's pack where they come with some of the can droids, and um, I think that that's a really good deal for this, uh, this pack. So, yeah, um, if you like Double, and you want to collect all those forms, definitely need to pick up this one, this is not that expensive these it's still not that expensive these days and it's a pretty good deal uh, if you're just passing through and you just if you just like the colors also pick this up 
um, pretty much all in all, it's a, it's a pretty solid SG Figuarts release. And uh, but anyone who likes Kamran SG Figuarts, I can recommend this to you, especially for the price it is right now. Uh, the only reason why you wouldn't want to get this if you didn't like Kamen Rider, so I don't know why you're watching this, you didn't like SH Figuarts again, I don't know why you like, you're watching this, or you just focus on just collecting the main ride, it's like the main form, then you can skip on this. But if you, you know, you think this looks good, definitely pick it up, you won't be disappointed. Subscribe to Justin, comment below, and of course, take care and have a nice day. Bye.